Hey, my name is Eric. I'm with Battleborn Batteries. We're based out of Reno, Nevada. We're a lithium battery manufacturer. We build all of our batteries in Reno, so U.S. manufacturing and batteries that come with a 10-year warranty. Um, what you can see here on the table here, this is our current lineup of batteries. So we're building 12 and 24 volt batteries in 100 and 270 amp configurations. And what's great about these batteries for the overlanding, the van, the RV market, is you've got a lighter weight option with no discharge floor. So it's a full usable capacity from the advertised uh, you know, battery size. Uh, essentially these batteries, they're gonna cut your weight in half of the current acid-based battery that you use. You're gonna be able to charge these batteries in three to five times faster than a standard lead acid battery. And essentially it's, it's really just gonna give you more usable power than what that current lead acid battery has in the system. So, you know, when you're looking at a, an upgrade, you know, look at a Battleborn, you know, support a U.S. manufacturer and get a battery that's going to last you for 10 to 15 years. And that's the big thing that I've talked about on my channel before is the warranty alone. Yeah. In my perspective, there's a lot of battery companies now, but they're all just basically shipping in Chinese stuff, stamping it. Right. And then you guys' lugs are pretty superior. It's, it's a different lug. Yeah, we call that a flag post style lug. So what we found is that, you know, with a traditional automotive style round lug, you know, you, you, you run the risk of over tightening those, of crushing those. With a threaded insert, you, you always run the risk of cross threading it. Right. So with this, you know, with the included stainless steel hardware that we give you, it should made up really easily to, you know, just your basic ring terminal. You know, so you can use 3 8 or 5 16 hardware and ring terminals. You can mate that right up to the, the actual lug itself. So it makes for a really nice, you know, snug fit and something that shouldn't, you know, shouldn't work loose down the road or down the trail. And so this is a 75, are these new? Yeah, so we, we actually uh, started doing this. This is a Group 24 battery. Okay. So we build this in two different capacities, a 50 and a 75. So it's a little bit smaller than our traditional Group 27. Right. And, and I think this will be really popular for, you know, an overlanding vehicle when you're looking to, you know, run a smaller demand. So maybe a, a small 12 volt fridge, maybe some of your auxiliary lighting, um, you know, so that that's something that, you know, lighter weight, and just something you can easily throw in the rig when needed. So is this the same footprint as the 50? So this is a, this is gonna be the same footprint. Yeah, so the 50 and the 75 both come in the same footprint for okay. us. So it's a little easier on the manufacturing aspect for us. Cool. Um, and, and really you can kind of pick and choose the capacity as needed. Yeah, because I've got a 50. Yeah. And then um, I was considering like, I kind of would like to have around 150 in the next build. Yeah. And so combining two of these, I think. Yeah. Because I don't quite need 200 yeah. in the space. Right. So yeah, parallel a couple of these together, and then you've got a true 150 usable. And so that'd be 150 usable. Does that double the amperage? Would that do 200 amps? So basically, if you tie these together in parallel, it keeps it at 12 volt. Right. And then you do 75 and 75, so you're at 150 total. Cool. Okay, right on. Yeah, I'm going to be building another one. And oh, I, I put a couple of the hundreds in my camper that I had, and yeah. I sold that, and I'm going to build another truck. So awesome. these might be the way that I'll go. That's that's cool that you guys are doing those. I like the footprint. Of the yeah, we're special. trying to find some, you know, slightly smaller stuff that's a little more, uh, right. you know, weight friendly and space saving. Yeah. Awesome. Right on, man. I appreciate the coverage. Cool. As always, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and feel free to check out my other adventure, off-road, and overland related content.